Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Rule of Rose. We've just gone through two very unpleasant chapters. Ready for another? How was it, Jennifer? Do you remember now? Hmm, I see you remember the second one. But that's not all of it. You really are a silly girl. Hurry, hurry. Read another story, Jennifer. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Mermaid Princess. Mermaid Princess. A long, long time ago, the Mermaid Princess fell in love with a human prince. But for years, her love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit, all alone even on the day of her death. The poor, poor princess of the Sea Kingdom. Who'd ever want to become an ugly woman like her? Can't wait to see how this ends. Or what the moral is, I should say. I'm good. August. So we're actually back a month before uh, the last one. Ooh. There's a pleasant image. When the unlucky girl closed the storybook, the strong-willed princess was there in the room and said sourly, <sighs> Rats, the fish is gone. Mr. Hoffman will be furious. You should be looking for your own precious thing. Or I think the game's telling me you should be looking for your own. Okay. Okay. Well, we have the story, so that much is covered. the item bin, save point, hey, shortbread, I don't know if I've gotten one of these, have I? A rich buttery snack which goes wonderfully with tea, restores a lot of health, no I have not received that. Nifty, out of my way, we are out of here, oh I should see where I am on the ship. Oh, okay, well, now I know. Hmm. Huh? No way! There's no such thing! An unmarried mermaid. Oh, that'll be cake, don't you worry. Woof. That's some gift. Oh... Boy. <laughs> Well, let's get going. Now, in the previous chapter, I wanted to find five items. In this one, four.
The cold princess and the wise-looking princess were talking. The unlucky girl quietly listened in. Diana was quite upset. Don't you think that was too much? We had to do it. Besides, there's no such thing as mermaids. Don't you agree, Meg? You're right. That was the only thing we could do. Interesting. So remember, in the bird chapter, Diana and Meg conspired against Eleanor. In the Goat Sisters chapter, Eleanor and Meg, or excuse me, Diana and Eleanor conspired against Meg. And in this one, it looks like Eleanor and Meg are conspiring against Diana. How bizarre. So all three of them are going to make each of the three of them hate us? Then the wise-looking princess asked, How about you, Jennifer? Do you believe in mermaids? The cold princess said, They're such beautiful and pure creatures. You're looking for a mermaid too, aren't you? Then you'd better hurry. Diana might find it before you. Okay, we have a goal. And we have a thing? Fish scale. Sure enough, it's a fish scale, shiny and blue. But remember, the fish from Mr. Hoffman's tank went missing, so... But, we have a goal. Okay, we're stepping out. Oh, hello. No, oh, more candy. Goody. This is a chapter I promise you I'm going to be needing healing items for. Lots of them, I think. Wait a second. Engine 3 maintenance. You know what? Give me a second. Boom, found a film. I wonder how close I am. Go! Ah, okay. More film. Well, this is good. I want to knock this stuff out all at once while I can. This is very good. Sector 7 Cargo Bay. Damn it, I'm so sick of having to deal with that weird other side thing. Where am I in relation to that? So I can't go that way. Oh, I could just loop around, that's fine. What a pain though, right? Boom, there we go. Engine 4 maintenance. Oh, actually, I think this is the room anyway. Wonderful. Go. Beautiful. Another film. Ooh, now he's lost. Surprisingly not terrible. I can do this. It's in Sector 2. It looks a long way away on the map, but it's only like two rooms. 
and that's the last film I need to find, so this is not terrible. Uh, after I get this film, I believe we can go ahead and actually do the chapter. Here we go. Sector 6 maintenance, and I want to go into Sector 2 maintenance. But don't worry, I don't have to go through 5, 4, and 3. I think 6 is just gigantic, and it leads directly to 2. Let me make sure I'm not lying to you. There, you see? It's long, but it's doable. Plus, I think the map actually made it look longer than it really is. Or not, but wait, whoa. What? Creepy. If I'm supposed to be going this way anyway, then that's fine, but ugh. Well, if I am supposed to be going this way, then I guess this is really good for us. That was freaky. And am I still searching for that film? Yes. Good. I'll get that after. I want to make sure I don't trigger anything, so let's just uh, do the little side thing. Wherever the hell this film is. Good. Okay, good. Brown hunting over. That's all I wanted to do. Let's just go right back to that little note. Okay. But what was this thing then? Play bottom of the sea. Sure. So it's just a note. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. Go! Lower vertical tail? What? So we're on the tail of this ship. Remember, it was a giant metal fish, which looks freaking cool. And we got the Silent Hill 2 stairs here. Huh. Am I doing it right? Like, how am I not picking up the item? Come on with this. Do I actually have to go on the other side? Fine. Oh my god, freaking rule of rose. Thank you. Fish head. It's a fish's head that's been chopped off its body. Oh, wow, that's not good. Well, this thing has served its purpose. Now about this thing, for the love of God. Thank you. A, a meat cleaver. A large heavy knife that can cut through bone. What happens if I equip it? Does this thing actually have range? I get the feeling it doesn't. God, that's embarrassing. 
sticking with my trusty pipe. I mean, the meat cleaver probably would be a really good weapon if I can actually ever hit something with it. But, yeah. Okay, so you know what the good news is? We have found our films. Now all I have to do is find the knife. But first things first, I think we're going with the fish head. Go! Let's get the hell out of here. We're moving right along. Where to? Because we're really in an uh, otherwise unexplored area of the ship. Yeah, sector 1, wire controller. I'm way at the opposite end. Wait, what's that? Now it's just the foreground passing over. What is this? Oh, lollipop. Yeah, I'm going to be wanting that. No doubt. And what is this? Oh my god. Also, that's freaking cool. Not sure if enemy. <laughs> Come. I don't know where Brown went, so I'm going to bring him to me. Okay. Oh, hi. The fish has got to be this way, I just know it. Now we're following Diane. Central stairway A. Good news, this actually happens to be where the knife is. Like, I must encounter the enemy that I want. So this is great, this will complete our uh, collection for this chapter. Just so long as I don't get wrecked while I'm fighting him. Where's my buddy? Come. I'm gonna go the wrong way just to see where the enemy might be. Although I don't know if enemies have spawned yet, so who knows. Doll legs. The top half of the doll is missing. Hmm. Well. Anyway, do we have an enemy? Are they the enemy I desire? No one's getting me from behind. Which is, you know, good in its own way. Creepy fish boys. I'm away, ow, I'm away, ow, I'm away, ow, I'm away, ow. I made a huge mistake. Ow, 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 health. God damn it. Oh, I'm actually limping. Holy crap, are you freaking serious with this? Okay, I freely admit that was a dumbass decision. So where's no more Mr. Knife Guy? Like, was he with the group? Or am I just wasting my own time right now? Because I did not notice a knife at first. I really hope I don't have to deal with the freaking fishmen. I think I might have to, though. 
And I think this leads out. No, I'm still good. Yeah, it might actually be with the group. Oh, wow. Sweet lack of invincibility frames, yo. Then there's the man, there's the guy. Well, that's good. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. How's that health doing? You know what? For good measure. God. This sucks. You have got to be kidding me. All right, what am I dropping? I believe I want to keep the fish head. So let's go ahead and, uh, I really don't like to do this, but let's use the shortbread. God, this sucks. Are you freaking serious with this? If I'm losing all this health to these guys, I'm gonna get my ass kicked later on. God damn it. This is like the worst possible scenario. Freaking amazing. Well, if they're not going to get up, that's one thing, but that was, like, the worst. I'm going to get my ass kicked come later on. I'll hold on to that. So we have the marquee. It's going to be the same yellow knife, so whatever. Now, oops, now I might as well find uh, the doll's legs. Of course, I have to go back through these. God, that was awful. Also, I don't know where Brown went, so let's do this quickly. That way. God, that freaking sucks. And, like, what am I supposed to do? Even if I go after the crowd, it just is a disaster. But all my damn healing items? Are you freaking kidding me with this? I need to go use brown and just look for more consumables. That was ridiculous. Okay. Ooh. And now for the worst part, I think, of the entire game in the mermaid room. I hate this. Part. So enjoy. I am almost certainly going to die.
And by the way, is that a really creative depiction of a mermaid? Someone with the legs bound? This is easily the most annoying and worst goddamn fight in the game. I'll just let that go. And yes, that's toxic. This is the fight. I guess if I keep this up, I won't die, but I have died many times in this boss fight. You wouldn't believe how many times I've tired of the opening animation. I'm actually lucky I haven't been hit yet. Now you remember with the the man, I was able to smack him around a couple times. Oh, oh my god, okay. Fair. That's what this fight is. Oh, wait a minute. I have two candies. Okay. Oh, the clothespin helped me. Weird. But whatever. Oh, wow. I'm gonna die. My brown's down for the count. I mean, he can't contribute to the fight anyway, but that sucks. <laughs> Cool. Let's just take a couple minutes to get up and then get hurt with the unescapable acid. Son of a... Really? I, I think I'm just screwed. I think that that's how that's gonna work. So, super cool. You know what, I'm gonna let this go. If I die, I die. Freaking gross. And that whole room, that whole area of the room is just unusable. Like, I can't even get close or I'm just gonna die. Like, what do you want from me? This is, this is the boss fight. Here it is, I hope you like it. I'm gonna die. Yeah, you really only get one hit. I'm gonna back off. God, so gross. By the way, um, for those of you keeping count, I've hit her four times. Pretty good, huh? Five. God knows how many, by the way. God knows how many this takes. I actually got two off. That's incredible. I think I'm being greedy, though. That probably should have hit me. I'll just keep a distance, thanks. If I get behind her, then I'm pretty much golden, but that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna die. Great. Cool. Awesome. Little princess, little princess, precious little princess, the little girl was as beautiful as a princess, but she will always be alone. The girl found her grave. Today is the day of her funeral, and everyone lived happily ever after. End. God, that's depressing. Yep, I was afraid of that. That's how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to when I am uh, ready to do that boss fight. Well, here we are again. I managed to find a save point. 
and I got my marquee back. Here's the deal with the save point. Turns out it was right under my nose the whole time. Well, this is the central stairway. Upper deck, lower deck. So we were in section two, moving to one, but then the stern observation room at the very end of the ship actually has a save point. The catch is that I had to wade my way through all those fish enemies to deal with my uh, knife again, but the good news is that I actually have healing items this time. I use my scone and that's it. I have three candies, three lollipops, one shortbread. I kind of have two candies, I want to hold on to one, as well as the chocolate. But let's try this boss fight again. Okay, now we go in. Mermaid room. Round two. Ugh, I even died against the fishmen attempting to get that knife again because I didn't remember which wave spawned them. Now I do, so that's good, but ugh, make them go away. This mermaid is the absolute worst. She freaking cheats. Here's the bed. Oh, I can skip the cutscene. Oh my god. Well, I can skip the door opening then. That's something. Okay, now I try not to die. Oh my god. Oh, no way. All over the freaking bed. Yeah, there it is, there it is. All over the bed. God. So much bile. The bile demons and dungeon keeper would be proud. Got her twice. Sent her away during a vomit attack, too. Or before. Like, really, are you seeing this? Are you seeing how many times I've hit her? With my long-range weapon, by the way. Like, God forbid I had a knife. Can you imagine? Maybe I'll do more damage, but like, oh my god. Oh, wow. Isn't that just weird? What in blazes? Just who did this? Who made this mess? Was it you? Go on, tell me. Answer me, Diana. No new mummy or daddy would ever want you if you don't like that. Jeez, ouch. No, no. I won't be angry. Just answer me. It was you, wasn't it? You were in charge after all. This guy. A little touchy feely there. What was that? Yuck! How disgusting. Oh, now I see. It was you. It was your fault that I got into trouble. Give it here. Oh my, I see a stain. I've got to clean it up, or Mr. Hoffman will be angry with me. Gee, that was awfully loud. Mr. Hoffman is way the hell too touchy-feely. I don't feel so bad about beating his ass before these chapters now.
man, so no wonder everyone hates us. We were blamed for everything. <laughs> Just the <never> friends. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I just want to throw this one out there. Uh, this was my second attempt at the mermaid fight. The first time I ever played at this game, it took me more attempts. I grew to hate that fight so much. And I was getting frustrated, audibly frustrated in this. So you can imagine how fun it was before. Anyway. Mermaid doll. A slip of paper is peeking out of its tummy. I am yours, even in death. Let's do this again. Mermaid Princess. A long, long time ago, the mermaid princess fell in love with a human prince. But for years, her love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit. All alone, even on the day of her death. The poor, poor princess of the Sea Kingdom. Who would ever want to become an ugly woman like her? I am yours, even in death. They didn't even have to add anything for that one. It was depressing enough as it is. The really sad thing is that that's basically the actual story of The Little Mermaid. Like, the other two stories were twisted as far as I know, but not this one. Not much. I guess the difference is she just grew old and died alone instead of actively killed herself. The old story is arguably even darker. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend, and so she wrote it on the chalkboard. So she'd never forget it ever again. I am yours. Everlasting, true love. I am yours. Yeah. Okay, and now that we're done with that, we can stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We completed the last of the three chapters that we were offered, so we have this promise we made to our friend, I am yours, true love everlasting, perhaps in that order. We got the phrases out of order, but I think you see where we're going with this. That mermaid boss disturbing. Also, that was like a 20 minute fight. Like, like, can you believe it? That That's not how long boss fights take. I'm not playing freaking Persona here. Like, this is a horror game. Boss fights are supposed to be like a few minutes long. Mr. Hoffman's fight was like, what, five or six minutes? This was just ridiculous, because at best, you can hit her twice per round, and her rounds take quite some time. But... We made it through, and now we've seen how we were set up for blame with all three girls, and all three girls hate us for their own reasons. Can't wait to see how popular that makes us later on, huh? Until next time, everyone. <laughs>